Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to share to you guys right the difference between uh, using TradingView as a share platform versus uh, investing.com uh, share platform, right? And I realized that uh, it's much better to use uh, investing.com uh, uh, share platform. Okay, so let me share to you the differences. Okay, so let's say you go to Trading View. And uh, this is the website, okay, for Trading View. So let's say, for example, you want to compare uh, Apple stock. So you go to ticker here, right? Then you type Apple. And then uh, you select stock. Definitely, you can select futures, forex, CFD, cryptocurrency, uh, index. Uh, so let's remove that, right? So index, cryptocurrency, you can have Bitcoin, uh, economy, you have all this economy data, GDP data, okay, uh, futures, as I mentioned just now, all the futures, uh, forex, okay, euro, USD, USD, Japan, okay. Uh, and definitely stop so we want to focus on Apple today so you click on Apple therefore uh, Apple uh, Apple share uh, details will come out so here is Apple so you can have overview the share price okay you can look at the technical and all the market cap uh, financial information here and here you can actually look at some of the comment by other uh, investor that are using this platform okay you can actually blog about the Apple uh, performance and stuff like that so you have this uh, overview but what I want to use is the full features chart so you click on here and then it will bring you to the trading view uh, so you just uh, click no thanks so uh, because I have uh, saved before this uh, uh, template so of course uh, if you are new right you will actually uh, go to the uh, default okay so if not mistaken if you first come to here it will just show you uh, probably this kind of uh, setting so if you are first time okay what you want is that uh, whatever template or the default setting right so my preference is that uh, you can uh, you already have the apple so what i normally do is that i will add a uh, indicator the typical Im indicator that i always use is a uh, moving average uh, i would like to use a uh, moving average exponential for today's uh, example definitely you can use a normal moving average or a simple moving average but today i will be using moving average exponential or ema okay so i want to have a uh, three ema so you can see once i click once you will pop up here okay the default is a nine days moving average so i click two more time okay you will come out two more time uh so you click x first so i want to edit here so for a simple one you can click the setting here okay so here i change the day okay let's start with 50. uh style is where you change all the color and stuff like that so just a uh, uh, I would like to use a uh, blue for this case. Okay, okay, blue is changed here. So let's change the other one for this one. Let's change it to orange. Okay, my preferred color, and also oh, okay, sorry. And for here, input. Let's put it uh, 150 days as default. Okay, and then for this one, let's change it to 200. Okay, for long term moving average style, uh, let's change it to pink color, right? Okay, so let's click OK. So therefore, you can see the three color here. Uh, of course, uh, some of you would like to use uh, the candlestick. Oh, sorry, click on me. Uh, yeah. So some of you would like to use the candlestick. You can use the candlestick, right? Okay, hide this for now right so so you can definitely see okay so this is the 50 days moving average 
the orange color is 150 moving average and the red color is a 200 moving average and of course uh, for the latest one okay for the latest one you can actually uh, see that uh, latest uh, price right is actually uh, you can see that the moving average for 50 days is actually uh, cutting above the 150 and 200 uh, days moving average so this is a good sign uh, which means that we will expect a further bull run okay for Apple stock so anyway uh, so this is trading view uh, let's say I want to add more indicators uh, I would like to use the MACD okay and you can see this uh, issue pop, pop up here your account support up to three indicators and strategies per chart if you need more consider upgrading to the pro pro plus or premium plan they also come with many exciting features so 30 days free trial here so uh, if you are not uh, subscribing to the pro version which i believe you need to pay you can only use three indicators maximum because i already use a 50 150 and 200 therefore i have limitation here right so if I still want to use the MSCD, uh, so what I need to do is that I probably need to remove one of the indicator here. So say for example, I remove the 200 days moving average. Uh, now let's try again. Search MSCD, click. And now you can see the MSCD at the bottom here. So EMA50, EMA150 and MSCD, you have three uh, indicators and that's the maximum you can go you can cannot add any more right so so let's say you want to add anything no more indicators maximum three indicators so that's the limitation of trading view for normal version the free version you can only have three so what about investing.com so say for example you go to investing.com right so let's say you search an apple stock ah uh, so if you click Apple, right, so Apple stock will come out. Click the Apple stock. It will bring you to this page, okay, all the overview and stuff. So what you want to do is that you click chart, right? So you just click chart and it will bring you to this page where you have the chart. Right. Okay. So uh, so what you do is that uh, I will typically expand the wheel okay so you can see it's actually quite similar with the user interface of uh, trading wheel but uh, so let's let's do the same thing okay uh, let's select candle uh, let's add more indicator indicator let's start with moving average like this now moving average exponential Let's add three. Okay. Let's do a quick edit. Moving average nine. This is fine. Uh, oh no. So let's start with fifty, right? Fifty color is fine. Maybe edit hundred fifty here. Let's change to orange. Click okay. Uh, this one, let's go to pink color, right? So let's change to 200, so we get to 3. And if you want to add more indicators, let's say for example, MSCD, MACD. So now you can see you can add extra here. In fact, you can add more. Let's say RSI, Relative Strength Index, you can add here. You can even add more than 4. So I prefer investing.com uh, chart because it allow me to put in more indicators. Okay, uh, definitely more indicators doesn't mean that you will do better in your technical analysis, but definitely it will give you more flexibility, right? So I uh, personally prefer investing.com uh, chart now because it just give me more. Uh, indicators okay so that's all i have for today so i uh, hope you like this video so if you like this video please like and subscribe and i see you around in the next video bye